This tutorial will show you how to set up random questions in a quiz. So we're going to start by the, going to the home page of the course. This one's Middle Train. We're going to click this quiz for week one, which is what we've called that. And then we're going to click the edit tab to get into the quiz. Now you see the questions in the quiz that have been set up so far on the left and the question bank for all the questions on the right. And let's scroll down and see where this random question control is. It's down at the bottom, right at the bottom, add, and you get to select the number of random questions you want and click add. And it comes from the category that's shown um, in the, the current uh, setting there. So basically it will take any of the, it will select from any of the questions some random questions and put them into the quiz, however many random questions you tell it in that pull down. Now there's some things to consider about that is that um, if you have a mixture of question types like essays like these and uh, multiple choice and true false then it's going to select randomly from all these types so you may get um, you know one student may get more essay questions than another student uh, things like this so a consideration is to segment your um, categories so that question types that you're going to use for random questions are kept in one category. Now that's what I've done here and let me just show you if I take off this setting display questions from subcategories too that will show only the questions that are in the selected category without showing questions from subcategories below it. Now I'm going to select the midterm category and we'll see that um, I've left a mixture of uh, essay questions and multiple choice questions in this category and that's all. I want to be able to select random questions from true false in this particular case. So if I go down and look I've created a subcategory uh, called true false questions. So if I look at that one you'll see that it only has true false questions in it. All of these questions are true false and that's where I want to select my random questions for uh, this quiz. So I'm going to go down to the bottom, scroll down there and then let's select five random questions and see this box right here tells I want it to select that from the true false questions. There's 56 of them total in there. It's for each student it's going to pick five of those randomly so different students will have probably different questions most likely. And I click the add button and that will put them in the quiz. That will push them up there and then you, you'll see over on the left below my uh, multiple choice a couple of true faults that I had picked, a couple of essay questions and some more multiple choices. Then now there's these five random questions. Now I can change the uh, point values for those if I want to. I'm just going to leave them at one point right now. So the only thing I would have left to do if that's all the questions I want is to make sure the, the grade points for each question are what I want and then get back down at the total make sure that the uh, it'll add that total up automatically counting the points but the maximum grade that I want to assign for this quiz is shown there and then save the changes to the quiz by clicking that. Now let me point out a few things about random questions. The, if Once you've selected random questions it will not select more than a question more than once so it's not totally random it, it looks at what it's selected for each and make sure there are not, no duplicates. It will not duplicate any of the questions if you have a, a random questions coming from a category that has mixed question types in it, it will not duplicate um, any of the other questions that were previously asked with a random question. So you don't have to worry about a student getting the same question twice. And what other consideration is for when you allow multiple attempts at the quiz, 
uh, the random questions will be generated for each attempt so that it's the student that's taking the second or third attempt is likely to get different questions in the random questions section. So now let's quickly go up to the top and we're going to preview this quiz that has these random questions in it. Uh, now these are the first questions that, that we put in the quiz so I'm going to go to the next page and we'll start to see the random questions show up in here. Here's an essay question, another one, and then uh, some multiple choice, and then the random true-false questions start uh, showing up. So it has picked these randomly from the list that were in that true-false listing. So that's how you set up uh, random questions for a quiz.